While Land Rover is trying to steal the New York Auto Show with the new Range Rover Sport, Caddy's determined to seduce the Wall Street boffins with a bit of homegrown luxury. This is the new CTS. Caddy likes to see the CTS as the sweet spot of its range, sitting between the junior ATS and the flagship XTS. For this third incarnation, it's grown a little and moved more up market. It's five inches longer than before as it seeks to compete head to head with the Audi A6, the BMW 5 Series and the Mercedes E-Class. No one at Cadillac's in any doubt about the scale of the task they face if they take on the very best of the European competition, but at least they're trying. These seats move in 20 different directions, there's no shortage of dead cow, and I like this textured wood finish. They're also relying heavily on technology, you get this digital infotainment system, but it's a shame that they're persisting with the fiddly, nasty touchscreen controls, which we criticise so heavily in the smaller ATS. One of the biggest changes for the new CTS is the engine lineup. It kicks off with a 2 litre turbocharged 4 that's shared with a smaller ATS and develops 272 horsepower. Moving up, you can have a 3.6 litre V6 with 321 horsepower or the flagship V Sport, which is this car, with a twin turbo 3.6 V6 developing 420 horsepower. And that's mated to Caddy's first 8 speed automatic transmission. We're big fans of the smaller ATS, and if this new CTS shares some of its driving flair, then Caddy could be on to another winner. They're yet to announce prices, but we expect it to cost them about $45,000 when it goes on sale this fall.